I want to bring on my guest today, the very fabulous Victoria Moran. I do like to say that she is the real deal in veganism. Victoria, thanks for being with me. I was surprised when the major meat slaughterhouses forced workers back to work in conditions that were not healthy and society just said, okay. Well, some people in society are seeing that and there's some very mm. exciting news coming out of Iowa right now. Yes, um, the, let's talk about it. Uh, hashtag boycott meat. This is the Meatless in Solidarity Coalition was started by the Iowa chapter of LULAC, which is the League of United Latin American Citizens. It's the largest Latino civil rights organization in the country. And there is now a coalition of all kinds of people who don't necessarily agree about everything, mm -hmm. but who agree that we absolutely need to be boycotting meat now to draw attention to the travesty that these workers mm -hmm. have been forced by governmental decree back into these plants because meatpacking was deemed critical infrastructure, implying that meat is an essential product. I haven't had a piece of meat since 1969. I know it is not an essential product. So this boycott is uh, actually already underway. You can check it out at meatlessinsolidarity.org. And there is also going to be a press conference coming up and, and more information oh, out there. And what's so exciting to me is that I remember a couple of really powerful boycotts in the last century, the anti-apartheid boycott. And also in the late 1960s, there was a five-year boycott of table grapes that was started by Cesar Chavez uh, mm -hmm. on behalf of the farm workers. Mm -hmm. And I, I was a kid, but I remember everywhere I looked, boycott grapes, boycott grapes, to the point that I, I couldn't imagine anybody who didn't want to have tattooed on their forehead, <laughs> I don't care about anybody but me, would eat a grape. And to this day, when I pick up a bunch of grapes, I always think, is this okay? I mean, that's how powerful a boycott can be. So we're very, very excited. You said there's going to be a press conference soon. When is that coming? Uh -huh. I can't wait. Well, we had a date, uh, but that date may change uh, based on uh, a rather prominent person who may be able to appear. So I can't tell you the date today, but I'll get that information to you so you can share it at some later time.